Psalm 33 verse 20 says, Our soul waiteth for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. Waiting on God shows our dependence on Him. It's an act of faith in Him, His goodness, and His promises to provide what we need. A housewife trusts her good husband to bring home provisions as needed. Any child has faith in and expects and waits on his mother to provide a meal, especially when the child expresses his hunger. With like faith and with like trust, we wait on God. Psalm 130 verse 6 says, My soul waiteth for the Lord more than they that watch for the morning. I say, more than they which watch for the morning. In Noah Webster's first dictionary, put out in 1828, we see the definition, several definitions of the word wait. The first definition is to stay or rest in expectation. Shows the faith aspect of waiting, expectation. Third definition, to rest in expectation and patience. Waiting, uh, there's a patience or painful aspect of waiting. And then the sixth definition of waiting is to be ready to serve, to obey. So we see the, the holy aspect of waiting on God or the obedience uh, aspect of waiting on God. Psalm 25 verse three, yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. How often followers of Christ will transgress because they failed to wait on God. Hosea 12, 6, Therefore turn thou to thy God. Keep mercy and judgment and wait on thy God continually. We are to pray without ceasing. Psalm 123, verse 2, Behold, as the eyes of servants look unto the hand of their masters, and as the eyes of a maiden unto the hand of her mistress, so our eyes wait upon the Lord our God until that he have mercy upon us. Waiting on God shows our need. We are waiting for him to have mercy on us. It's a, so there's a humble aspect to waiting on God. Those who are proud do not wait on God or do so in their own way. Waiting on God allows us to Receive from his great abundance that which we need. Do you need grace to obey? To take away from your life the doubtful? Do you need to be made holy? Do you need a miracle in circumstances? If God has allowed you the discernment to see spiritual poverty in others or in his church, that comes with the responsibility of waiting on God to give them what they need. Moses waited before the Lord in prayer so that God would not destroy his people. Jesus Christ, our greatest example, also intercedes for his people. To whom much is given, much shall be required. And if God has opened your eyes to the dangers or a lack in your brethren, then it is so that you can wait on God for him to give them what they need. Waiting demands patience, and God is our perfect example of waiting and patience. Romans 15, verse 5, Now the God of patience and consolation grant you. I recognize that that's referring to his abundant supply of patience, but he is our perfect example in patience. Only God knows what you need and what I need. He alone can grant us what he and his goodness wants us to have. We may, we may think that we know what we need, or we may think that we know what God needs to do because we have seen him work in the past. Just because we have seen God do a mighty thing in the past doesn't mean that we can stop waiting on him. He'll probably work in a different way in, a, in the future. In fact, he seems to work in greater ways as time goes on. And we tend to limit him by looking to the past. Greater things than these shall you, shall you do. 
Now Joshua, after the victory of Jericho, should have waited on God again for counsel, but instead he hurried and he made a great mistake. Every moment we must take the time to wait and to depend on God. We cannot count on successes in the past to know how God wants us to proceed in the present or in the future. I heard the story of one intellectual pastor who thought that since his church was not growing, that he needed to go to Pensacola for a couple weeks or so and study and ask questions on how they had a revival. He wanted to come back and implement their technique. He should have asked God what God wanted him to do with his church. So he came back from his self-study and in just a few weeks, he ended up having to leave his church. It was a problem between him and the leaders in the church. As I understand the story, some years after that, he had various degrees to his name, behind his name, and he still pastored a church of about 15 people, almost all of which was his own family. Now, pastoring such a church is not wrong, and it doesn't necessarily mean a problem, but he was trying to intellectually search for the perfect method God's ways are more than intellectual ways and methods. He wants our heart, and we must wait on Him to know His way for us in every situation. Many today are also doing their own thing. They're doing their own ministries. They're going where they want to go. They go on such and such a trip because it's something that sounds uh, like something they would like to do. Rather than waiting on God and doing what God wants done. Jesus himself would rise a great while before day to do not his own will, but the will of his own Father. He who is infinitely greater than us has shown us the way to waiting on God. James 5 verse 7 says, Be patient therefore, brethren, under the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth, and hath long patience for it until we receive the early and the latter rain. God wants to do great things. God plans to do greater things. But he needs us. He wants us to be waiting on him. Now remember I mentioned that patience is, the, is a painful aspect of waiting. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. And again, patience, pain. But let patience have a perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Now, patience comes from the Latin, patior, which means to suffer. The first definition of patience in Webster's first dictionary, the suffering of afflictions, pain, toil, calamity, provocation, or other evil with a calm, just as if it's not happening. You get that? The suffering of pain with the calm. Oh, God, may patience have her perfect work in me. Make me perfect. Patience as well in the Spanish has a similar definition. I'll translate it. It simply means um, the capacity to suffer or go through something without being changed. As well, it comes from the Latin. That's why we share the uh, same definition. Isaiah 64, verse 4. For since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by the ear, neither hath the eye seen, O God, beside thee, what he hath prepared for them that waiteth for him. Only God knows all the innumerable and infinitely bl abundant blessings that have come upon mankind and upon Christ's church due to people due to a man, due to a woman, due to a child, waiting on God. And this privilege is ours because, and it comes, and this privilege is ours, and it comes with the same blessings as always. Proverbs 27, 18, Whoso keepeth the fig tree shall eat the fruit thereof. So he that waiteth on his master shall be honored. Again, you have the same picture of a handmaiden waiting upon her master. 
When we wait on God, we place ourselves in His presence. Again, whoso keepeth the fig tree shall eat their fruit thereof. The picture of tending to something, being near, watching. So he that waiteth upon his master shall be honored. And we also are uh, blessed when we are, place ourselves in God's presence. What goodness, what favors and kindnesses we receive and will receive as we wait on God in such a place. Those humble ones who commune with and wait on God are good at keeping secrets. So many wonder at the great blessings that rest on, on his life or on her life, on such people. Waiting on God brings 100-fold blessings on us, both in this life and in the life to come, as we wait in obedience before Him. Well, let me say, in this life, God's constant smile and presence is the greatest blessing. In the next life, when you hear His precious voice say, Well done, thou good and faithful servant, it will be only the beginning of an eternity of immeasurable blessings. For in his presence is fullness of joy. At his right hand there are pleasures forevermore. And we learn to be in his presence in this life as we wait on him.